I think the first recommendation for every single team member, veterinarian, and even pet owners is to be able to read and recognize pet body language, pet's posturing, pet's vocalization, so you can understand when they're fearful or anxious. Clearly a pet who is threatening with aggression and threats are uh, pets that we need to be careful around and avoid. But pets who are inhibited, withdrawn, and showing you more avoidance signs, ears back, crouch down, tail between the legs, might be considered a pet who's relatively easygoing, and in fact that pet is fearful and could become aggressive at any moment. Having said that, both active aggression and avoidance are welfare issues for the pet as well as safety issues for the owner and the staff team, of course. Therefore, we have to be able to identify these signs and deal with them accordingly, either positive, gentle handling with rewards, changing the products and the type of handling we're doing, maybe the location, using towels or even muzzles or head halters as necessary, and don't forget about drugs. If the pet is too fearful and anxious, it is better for the pet to have its anxiety reduced or relieved with medication, and it's safer for everyone, staff and owners. Meow.